Today we'll be reviewing part number RP66541. This is the Reese weight distribution system. It is going to include the shank. Uh, it's a trunnion bar design. This system is going to evenly distribute the weight over the axles of the tow vehicle and the trailer for stability and control. It's going to create a more level ride for both the tow vehicle and the trailer. The trunnion spring bars are hot rolled and tapered here on the ends for superior strength and flexibility. The bars will flex appropriately over uneven terrain for a nice controlled even ride. And then the curved ends on uh, this portion right here, they're designed to be used with dual cam sway control, part number RP26002, and that is gonna be sold separately. The adjustable spring bar tension can easily be achieved simply by switching out the links here on the chain. That way it's gonna allow you to fine tune the system. Uh, the desired tilt on the system is also easily achieved with the serrated washer design. So that's gonna eliminate the need to having to pile on washer after washer. So you can see right here that the washers actually have teeth in them and so does the head of the weight distribution system. So those teeth dig into one another and that's gonna allow the head to achieve the tilt that you need for your application. Again, it is going to come with the shank. It's a nice solid steel construction, uh, powder coat finish on it. So it's gonna stand up really well against rust and corrosion. It is designed and rated for weight distribution. It's also going to come with your 5 8 inch pin and clip. That way you can secure this inside of your hitch. It's going to feature a forged raised ball platform here on the head of the weight distribution system, this portion right here. So that's going to eliminate the need for a raised hitch ball. Uh, the solid steel shank, again, has that nice powder coat finish on it, so it is going to stand up really well against corrosion. The system is going to include the head assembly, the adjustable shank, the lift brackets, the trunnion spring bars, uh, the lift chains, the pin and clip. It's going to come with all necessary hardware. It's also going to come with a snap-up handle. Now this is designed when you have the lift bracket position in the lower setting, that way you can attach the chains on there. The snap-up handle just basically works as a leverage device. You put it over this portion here and you're actually going to move uh, the bracket up into place um, and then you would secure it by inserting the pins here at the top. This snap-up handle can also come in handy, uh, you know, to gain leverage and lower the bracket down to remove the chains or to readjust the link. So that's just a leverage device. It makes everything a little bit easier when it, come in, when it comes to having uh, to make adjustments to the links in the chains or connecting or disengaging. It is going to require a hitch ball that is going to be sold separately. Uh, it's going to require a threaded shank with an inch and a quarter uh, diameter. It's going to offer a tongue weight of 400 pounds to 800 pounds with a gross towing weight of 10,000 pounds. Now when it comes to that hitch ball shank, again I, I did say that it does require an inch and a quarter diameter. It also comes with a reducer sleeve. This fits right in there and it's going to reduce it from an inch and a quarter diameter shank to a one inch shank. So either one would be fine. Just keep in mind that you might have to use that reducer sleeve if you use a hitch ball with a one inch shank diameter. It's also going to come with a shim. Now the shim is provided, uh, it would go in this portion here in between the adjustable shank and the bracket of the weight distribution system. It has the two slots in there so you can run the larger bolts through there. Uh, that's just to take out any slack that you may have in between the shank and that bracket of the head of the weight distribution system. It is designed to fit a two inch by two inch trailer hitch receiver. The lift brackets are going to be positioned about 30 inches back from the hitch ball. So you measure back 30 inches on each side of your trailer frame, uh, position the lift brackets, and you want to make sure they're straight across from each other. And again, do that measurement on both sides. That way the installation is as accurate as possible. This portion is going to set over the frame of your trailer. Then you got the set bolt here on the back that you would thread in, applying pressure to the inside portion of the trailer, and it's going to hold it in place. The lift brackets are going to require approximately five and a half inches of space along the trailer frame. And please keep in mind that they will not fit trailer frames wider than two and a half inches. The shank length here on the included shank is going to measure 14 inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of the ball hole. And so we'll just do that measurement. That way we can confirm. It also has two different pin hole locations. Uh, so it's going to allow for a little bit more adjustability. You got one set farther back and then one right here as well. So again, measuring there to the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of the ball. Uh, that closer pin hole location is going to measure 14 inches. The one that sits a little bit further back is going to measure 15 inches away.
The total adjustment that you'll have along the shank is going to measure five and one quarter of an inch. Maximum rise is going to be six and a half inches. And then your maximum drop is going to measure an inch and a quarter. That's measuring from the top of the hitch receiver opening. To determine whether or not uh, this is the proper weight distribution system for you, um, you can determine your trailer's tongue weight. So that's going to help you make a decision on which distribution system you need. So determine the tongue weight, and then you'll add to that the weight of the cargo behind the rear axle of your tow vehicle. Combine the two measurements, so add those together, and that's going to make up the tongue weight rating for a weight distribution system, and it's going to help guide your decision and find out if this is the right one for you or not. The entire unit is made from a nice steel construction. It all has a nice uh, powder coated finish on it, so it is going to stand up really well against rust and corrosion. That's going to do it for today's review of part number RP66541. This is the Reese weight distribution system, including the shank, and it is a trunnion bar design.